Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kai here from Tic Tac Soul, and today we will be talking about one of the most unique audio artifacts in the audio world, which is the Grado GW100. Tada! A uh, big thank you to my most favorite audio uh, store in the whole wide world, Jaben. Uh, if you have not heard of them, do give them some love because they do deserve it. A uh, big thank you again uh, to Uncle Wilson who has loaned us this particular unit for us to review. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I'll list all the details below in the description box. You can check them out. Okay, I have done my test for the past two weeks and here are my findings. Let's roll it! Right, let me begin with what I mean by unique. Okay, I have gone through some uh, research, some studies. Maybe I have not heard or maybe I have not searched far and wide enough, but this is the one and only open back wireless headphones known to mankind. Okay, that statement alone is enough to make a lot of uh, a lot of audio heads probably jump for joy. So having said that, the Grado model, the GW100, uh, this isn't a new product. It came out in 2018, but there wasn't a lot of uh, big awareness about it until second half of 2019. Don't really know why. All right, on the specs front, it supports APTX. It is light, weighing only 312 grams. Great sound stage, which I will talk about uh, more uh, later on. Very impressive, long-lasting battery on a single full charge. 15 hours to be exact. Uh, it is charged by USB-C, so yay. Uh, there is a mic module over here which you can totally make calls from. So you can use this as a calling headset. A demo on the call quality later on as well. Okay, build quality. Like most low to mid tier Grado headphones, they are made of plastics, except for the headband and the hinges. The GW100 is no exception. But even so, I do not detect any weird plastic, you know, sounding creaking sound, which some other premium headphones be the exhibit. The plastic does feel cheap though, but I feel that the quality of the plastic is better than found on the Grado SR125 and below. Uh, so that gave me a peace of mind if I want to get this for my own. What I love about it is that it retains the old Grado look, the signature look. Uh, by signature look, I mean the cool retro aesthetics which made Grado different from the rest. And I think it also, uh, it's a household design. I totally dig this kind of designs because hey, nah, it is key. All right, the headphones isn't a typical over the year headphones or the correct term is circumoral. It has a soft cushion though on the ear pads, which sits uh, quite comfortably on your ears. And the correct terminology for this, you know, the one that sits on the ear is supra oral. Okay, next, let's get on to the mic test. I did two tests, one from a quiet background, the other one from a slightly noisier background. So this is a sample. So this is a test in a quiet environment using the Grado GW100. This is a test using the onboard microphone on the GW100 in a quiet environment. This is a test using the GW100 yeah. in a noisy environment. This is a test using the GW100 in a noisy environment. Now, let's talk about the sound quality or the overall performance. If you're familiar with Grado sound signature, you might be surprised that this doesn't really sound like a typical Grado sound signature. Uh, I feel that it is a lot warmer sounding than the already warm sounding Grado headphones. So if you're used to that, to the warm sounding Grado signature, you just have to manage your expectations a little because these sound a tad warmer than the usual Grado headphones. Uh, which is to say it isn't bad because it's just a little different. But what I'm also glad is that they didn't make any sacrifices to the mids and bass. They sound really good, especially for a wireless headphones. 
I don't know how they do it, some witchcraft which I don't know about. The bass response is tight which produces very nice punchy notes. The mids and sound stage 2 is good. In actual fact, I don't think that I've heard any mids which is uh, better on a wireless headphones. Yep. Uh, that is to include the Sennheisers, the Audio Technicas, the... What else? The Bose, the Sonys. I think the mids on this one, it totally beats the rest of it. So again, with good mids, dialogues and vocals, they tend to sound really crisp and clear, which I totally, totally enjoy and love. Alright, but having said that, here lies the problem about having an open back design. You need to know that because it is an open back, sound will definitely leak. If you are sitting next to a person, probably in a train or a bus, the person next to you can definitely hear sound coming from the headphones. So if you're the kind of person who is a super considerate commuter, uh, it might annoy the one sitting next to you. Just take note. In addition, because it is open back, you don't want to listen to this like you are listening to a noise cancelling closed back headphone, something like the Bose or something like the Sony WX1000XM3. Why? Because it does not block out external noise. And if it does block external noise, then it is pointless to be called an open back. And having said that, if you are listening to an audio track, you know, or listening to some songs or movies or whatever in a noisy background, you either might not uh, hear clearly what you are supposed to be listening to because you are constantly battling with the external sounds that is coming through here as well. Okay, because the chamber, it's open back, sound goes out and sound goes in. So it is not an ideal scenario where you can take this around and enjoy music in its pristine condition. Uh, that's how you're supposed to listen to. If you're walking in past a construction worksite or if you are just walking along a busy road, yeah, you won't enjoy it. It's not ideal. So open back headphones are supposed to be listened in a very quiet and ambient. Uh, it's supposed to make the soundstage sound and stands out really, really well. Okay, the price. On Amazon, it is priced 249 USD. At Jibun, you can get it for 335. That's right. $335 for this at Jibun. Okay, to sum up everything that I have mentioned, are the GW100 a good option for being a portable wireless headphones? Straight off, I do not think that they make for a great all-round portable wireless headphones but I think they do sound really good and if you are travelling to a very noisy or mid-noisy transport or you know situation, they don't, they, they are not going to sound great. They definitely will sound great at home especially if you are just you know, uh, zoning out and listening to your favorite tracks. So it really depends on where you want to use these headphones. All right, it is friendly to all quiet or non-noisy environment, ambient, and definitely horrible to listen to in a very noisy background. But for me, being a unique headphones that is both open back and wireless is enough to make this a worthy purchase. Why? Again, because it's a unique artifact. So you just got to be mindful that if you do purchase this, listening to it highly, highly depends on where you are. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this review. If you do, consider hitting the subscribe button, the like button and the bell notification button to get notified whenever we post new videos. With that, guys, let's do our part. Let's, you know, beat this COVID-19. Stay at home, okay? For the love of God, stay at home and let's flatten the curve. Okay, bye, take care, wash your hands. Mm -hmm.